<laughs> Did someone buy them, or you just found? Them? <laughs> no, we would get subcontracted. Oh, okay. And you would deliver so, like, the washer Sears dryer. And shit. And yeah, we'd have to go to this place. We pull up at the point. And this you know, thirty air conditioners on the loading dock. I go in. I give the guy the bill. Of, no cameras in those days either. I give the guy the bill of lading. He gives me the paperwork. The retard kid comes over. I'll help you with the refrigerator. He carries it in. Then the guy gets in his car. One of his buddies. I'm going to get high. Fifty fucking air conditioners in the thing. I go, Mike, open up the back of that thing. What are you gonna do? You shut your mouth. We started putting fucking air conditioners in that thing. Ten, twenty. I was with the UPS man. I took every last air conditioner. We All of Brooklyn had everything. air conditioning on no, that block. No, Jersey. We oh, dropped Jersey. off the refrigerator and we turned that motherfucker around and we just drove down the boulevard. hundred dollars a piece on air conditioning. It's July. It was June. It was like stealing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we sold them with them one I'll hour. bet. We split the fucking money. I went over to McGrath's house, my eighth grade teacher, my uh, football coach, the running back coach. Slash and, bookie. And I bought a thousand of those little grand bottles of Coke from him. Oh, my God. And I went out with my friends. I told I was in the meeting at Joe and Mary's, but I took like a fucking Quaalude. And me and my buddies got fucked up. I woke up the next morning. I left it stiff. So, and we did the same shit every week. Tuesday okay. was McSorley's. Uh, Shillelagh's was in Jersey City. 30 cents for an Alabama slammer. And five cents for a mug of beer till ten o'clock. Damn. At ten oh one, five cents. You couldn't find a friend. Yeah. Ten oh one, the place was vacant. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. We're out of here. Ten oh one, at nine forty five, people would get three mugs and three drinks. Like you see people drinking out of three straws and shit. Two Wednesday was ladies' night at the dome, and Thursdays was another ladies' night. So we detected them because they were fifty cents drink. So come here. Here's a 10. Go buy you and <laughs> yeah, six or yeah. a drink. Give me one. You know. So, six horse. So for seven dollars, you were a hook. You were Hell really? Yeah. yeah, I'm a big shot to me. Well, yeah. So I saw it down there and I apologized. I'm sorry. In fact, I saw it on a Wednesday down there. And I said, I'm sorry about last night. I got fucked up. And she goes, I said, well, how about dinner tomorrow? And I took it to Picolissimo in Fort Lee, New Jersey, like a doctor. <laughs> there was adults that hadn't been to Pico <laughs> I forget what the guy's name was. The guy has a, a weird name. He's missing his stomach, though. What? He owns the restaurant. <laughs> always fun. What's always inside? <laughs> Hold on. I'll find that's, a hell of a, that's a hell of a curse to own a restaurant and be missing your stomach. The stomach had a dish called Lobster Fra Diablo. No, what? He burned his okay. stomach out. <laughs> no wonder he doesn't have anything. <laughs> Okay. His, <coughs> oh, Fra Diablo. His, his, his name of this thing was Lobster Fra Diablo. Yeah. His name was Johnny Bonico. And he owned, he owned Piccolissimo. He had no stomach. So he'd always be fucking like, look at you, food. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, Johnny, eat a clam. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you know, I got no stomach. <laughs> I, never mess with my now, I was a kid, and I'm going up there fucking giving orders because we'd get like a score, and I'd go up there and drop money, give them a drink, give them all a drink, you know. Dad, don't worry about nothing. And people would get pissed. It was like that scene when Belushi went to the restaurant and Blues Brothers. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Like yeah. it was white people in Fort yeah. Lee, and I would go up there with 16 gorillas. So I took her on a date up there, and they brought you a, a dish. I'm not even exaggerating. It was this big that looked like a fish. In the middle was pasta. It was surrounded by clams, mussels, and shrimp to the deck. God and damn. And on the top, two big lobster tails that were cracked <sighs> open with red sauce on top. Oh. No, 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 no. Bepinga. You'd put your little thing on. She was in heaven. She's eating this fucking thing. Then we'd get out of there. I'd take it down by the Binghamton. The Binghamton was a boat that you'd go on and have a few drinks. There was a movie theater. That's why I saw 48 Hours and Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But outside of that, your people, memory is something. If, if else. you snorted coke out there after like twenty minutes, you'd hear chick, 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 chick. the rats from the Hudson River would try to chip away at your car. It was fucking crazy. At your car coming out? It was out? crazy. And Freddy Basasudo had a hole in his car. So we had to put a fucking piece of two by four <laughs> over it whenever we went down there to make out with chicks and shit. <laughs> You know, we used to drink beers and throw them out of the hole. Oh, <laughs> <great>. <laughs> And people be driving on what the fuck? <clears throat> That's all that rust. My buddy had a Volkswagen with uh floorboards rusted out too. His foot fell through one time on the oh. highway. Oh shit. He's like, ah! He's yelling, we're trying to stop the car's foot through. <laughs> so I take this little Triches. Her name was Lisa Triches, and she had a sister named Sue. 
She looks just <laughs> like Pat Benatar in the first video of uh, You Better Run with the red and white <laughs> yeah, shirt. On. Yeah, I even yeah. made her get a red and white shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a red and white shirt. On. Yeah, you're looking like Pat. So we started swapping spit, and I started eating her pussy, and she started. And I remember she used to put talcum powder in her pussy because when I opened it up, a bunch of it came out and hit me in the <laughs> face. You know what I'm saying? And that bitch is on Facebook. She ain't dying of ovarian cancer. She's kicking. She's yeah. in Jersey. Yeah. But she got a, a shot of talcum powder hit me in the face, and I ate her pussy. She was banging on the top of the car. I was. I had her out there fucking both legs eating. I put a coke rock on her pussy. No dick. <laughs> I cut her off from the dick. No dick tonight. I'm dropping you off at home and don't even look at me sideways. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went over that fucking Friday night. I dropped her off like a gentleman. And we made plans, plans Saturday night to eat a pussy. What? Saturday night I was going to fuck her. And we went out. We went to a party. Uh, I got into a fight in the party. My hand got stuck in a barbed wire fence. Uh, right here as I was getting. He was taking me down. I stuck my hand in the fence and went in there. My like, God damn it. Cops came. Me and my boy and her and a piece of ass she had, Tasia Romano. Tasia Romano was a hot piece of ass. But Tasia once Romano, in a while, that's a good name. Oh, right listen there. to this. This was one of those bitches that for six months she looked good. And for six months she showed up looking like Lee. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to call her Tasia Romano Big Fat Piano. Because she would go, then for fucking six months she would not eat a thing and she'd puke and vomit. This bitch was fine to the bone. And Stinky, my friend Stinky, used to give her the Maluk stick for her. So now we're double dating. During what, six months? He gave it to her like over four years every once in a while. In the winter. So, <laughs> Tasia took Glenn to the other room. I got Trish's in the other room. Now she's playing Catholic girl. She's starting to cry. I don't uh. know. It hurts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't put it too close to my pussy. I got a half gram in my pocket. I don't need this aggravation. You know what I'm saying? So at six in the morning, I go, listen. Get your life together. We'll go throw some holy water on. It's like it never happened. I was a gentleman. And I said, listen, I got, a half, holy water. I got a half a G in my pocket. This will get me home. And I walked home. <coughs> and guys, it says I walked into the door where I was living. The phone rang. And it was her. And she goes, I thought about it. Let's do it. I'm like, all right. And she picked me up. It was 7 in the morning. Went back to her house. I gave her a stab. And there was blood. There was tears. There was a lot of rub in the back. She got to rub that back. I was going to say, who's back? I got to rub her back. She was on me. I'm a, I'm a virgin. I'm going to go to hell. Don't worry about it. Oh, There's the plenty guilt. of dick in the hell Catholic to party. Guilt. Let's start oh. this fucking thing. So, God yeah. damn. And guess what? We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.